So welcome, I'm Chef Philippe Van Kaisel. By following this recipe, you will learn how to cast molds using four different colored cocoa butter and how to prepare ganache with a high-end and ancient Chinese tea, the puar. I wanted to play on the fact that some aspect of the production process, more precisely the fermentation, are similar to both puar tea and cocoa beans. Let's travel to the Far East. We can now start preparing the mold using the spraying method. For the ingredients, we will need Calubo, Arriba single origin milk curvature, black, green, red and white IBC colored cocoa butter. For the tools, we will need We will first spray crystallize the black cocoa butter. Shake well the bottle of colored cocoa butter and transfer into a mixing bowl. Stir with a brush to cool it down until reaching 32 degrees Celsius to pre-crystallize it. Using a brush, apply it onto the mold with a flecking motion. Right after, place the mold upside down onto a paper towel and clean well. Then, pre-crystallize the green colored cocoa butter. Shake well the bottle and transfer it into a piping bag. Cool it down on the table. Then, cut the tip off and transfer it into the spray gun. Make sure that the spray gun has the same temperature as the colored cocoa butter. Spray the pre-crystallized green cocoa butter onto the mold and make sure to hold the mold at an angle of 45 degrees in order to spray one side of it. Then repeat for the other side. It is important to always keep the same distance and angle between the mold and the spray gun in order to have an even application of color in your mold. Once sprayed, place the mold upside down onto a paper towel and clean well. Repeat the exact same pre-crystallization process with the white cocoa butter. Spray evenly over the entire surface of the mold, placed at an angle of 90 degrees. Clean the mold well using a paper towel. Then pre-crystallize the red cocoa butter. Once pre-crystallized, spray only into the center of the cavities to avoid spraying of the green cocoa butter. Then again, clean the mold well using a paper towel. Spray one last layer of pre-crystallized white cocoa butter over the whole surface of the mold and clean again. Finally, let's set at room temperature between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. Once the colored cocoa butter has set, mold with crystallized milk chocolate by using the automatic tempering machine. Remove the excess chocolate with a palette knife. Put the mold facing up on the vibration table to remove all the air bubbles. Then place the mold upside down on the vibration table to create the shell. Right after, place the mold upside down on a tray lined with parchment paper and let the chocolate set for a few minutes. Finally, use a scraper to clean the surface of the mold. Let the chocolate crystallize at room temperature between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. We are now ready to prepare the ganache. For the ingredients, we will need 
250 grams of heavy cream, 35% fat, 50 grams of whole milk, 30 grams of ancient China Poir tea blend, 20 grams of sorbitol, 15 grams of glucose syrup, a pinch of fleur de sel, 250 grams of Calbo Yava single origin milk couverture, 175 grams of Calbo 811 Belgium dark couverture. For the tools we will need Bring the cream and the milk to the boil. Turn the heat off and add the tea into the saucepan. Cover and let infuse. In the meantime, transfer the chocolates into a tall recipient. Add the sorbitol, the glucose syrup and the salt into the saucepan. Turn the heat on for a few seconds and stir. And strain the tea out of the liquids onto the chocolates. Mix using an immersion blender until obtaining a smooth and shiny ganache. This is the exact texture we want to have. Let the temperature cool down to 30, 32 degrees Celsius for two reasons. First, at this temperature, the ganache will not melt the chocolate shell. Secondly, at this temperature, the ganache will start to pre-crystallize. For medium production, for example, two kilograms, you can pre-crystallize the ganache by spreading it over a stainless steel tray. For even larger productions, you can use equipment that will pre-crystallize the ganache automatically. Pipe into the mold. Make sure to leave enough space, at least 1 to 2 mm within the top, to close the molds later on. Place in the fridge at 10 to 12 degrees Celsius with a good airflow until the filling has set enough to be closed. Remove from the fridge. Then, with a heat gun, slightly warm the top of the mold to barely soften the edges of the chocolate shells. By doing so, we ensure that the shells and the crystallized chocolate will join together perfectly when closing the molds. Pour pre-crystallized milk chocolate on top of the ganache using the automatic tempering machine. Spread it evenly with a scraper or a palette knife. Place in the fridge at 10 to 12 degrees Celsius with a good airflow until hard enough to be unmolded. Then remove the mold from the fridge and let it get back to room temperature, which means 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. This is important in order to avoid potential condensation on top of your products. Finally, unmold the bonbons onto parchment paper. In this video, you have learned how to create a chocolate bonbon that has intense floral notes and subtle smoky flavors, enhanced by the milky touch of Java single origin chocolate. It sells balanced by the addition of the semi-bitter dark chocolate. I hope I managed to inspire you to mix ancient Chinese tea with Calabot single origin chocolate in your ganache. You have also learned how to create different shades of colors on your shelves by using white colored cocoa butter and various ways of spraying. Please share what you have made using the following hashtags. I'm always pleased to see your creations. Come back soon to check our latest videos. Thanks for traveling with me.